हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एवरीथिंग इज हियर चैनल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट पार्टिकल काइनेमेटिक्स इन पार्टिकल काइनेमेटिक्स वी विल टॉक अबाउट डिपेंडेंट मोशन एनालिसिस बिकॉज इन दिस टॉपिक वेरियस इंजीनियरिंग एंड नॉन इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट फेस प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इट नाउ लुक एट दिस इमेज for these two object a and b they are connected by a elastic rope wrapped along this pulley we can easily predict that if object a moves upward then object b moves downward and we can also tell from experience that they will move at a same speed this is because the rope connecting them has a fixed length therefore the motion of these two object are dependent on each other now let's see a very simple example to mathematically solve similar problem involving two particle with depending motion step 1 we need to set up a coordinate system in order to represent the position of the particle so we choose a fixed point o to be origin and choose downward to be positive direction but for this type of problem involving pulley system it is more convenient to draw a datum which is a line that any point on it represent a position of zero now with the help of the coordinate we can easily represent the position of two particle respectively using one dimensional vector again the position of particle a as sa and that of b as sb don't forget that sa and sb are both variable that changes with time step 3 recognize the constant length in the rope for example for this rope that wrap around the top semi circle of the pulley although it is also move but the length is always constant step 4 this is most important and easiest for the student to make mistake in this step we have to find how the position of the two particles sa and sb are related for this example it is quite simple the total length of our row is constant and that equals to sa plus l semi plus sb is equals to lt where lt is a constant length recognize them again l semi and lt are both constant but sa and sb are variable that changes with time now we will differentiate the pre previous position previous equation with respect to time and we get velocity from there that is sa d of sa upon dt plus 0 plus d of sb upon dt is equals to 0 and therefore d of sa plus upon dt is velocity va uh, and d of sb upon dt is velocity vb and this becomes va plus vb is equals to 0 or va is equals to minus of vb and this proves our initial guess that the two particle move in opposite direction with same rate speed and if necessary we differentiate the velocity again to get the acceleration
Now let's solve one problem. This problem is little but more complicated than the previous one. Again, we have two objects connected to multiple pulley system. We know the velocity of particle A and we have to find the velocity of particle B. Unlike the previous example, for this example, we can see that there are two ropes involved marked with different colors. Therefore, the depending condition that we are going to write later involves the total length of rope A and the total length of rope 2. So let's follow our strategy, strategy to solve this problem. Step 1. Draw a fixed line the datum. Set the coordinate S. Step 2. Represent the position of the two object by the position vector respectively that is SA and SB. But since SA and SB are not even on the same row, it is necessary to define another position vector say SC to serve as a middleman to connect other objects. Step 3 to recognize the constant length. Step 4 the most important step is to write the depending relation. First, the total length of rope 1 is constant that equals to SA plus SB plus SC plus some constant length is equals to is equals to total length that is LT1 and then for the second row the total length equals to SB minus SC plus SB plus some constant length is equals to total constant length that is LT2 and now we can combine these two equations by cancelling out the middleman and get SA plus 4 times SB is equals to total constant length. Step 5. We, different, we can differentiate this equation and we will get D of SA upon DT plus 4 times D of SP upon DT is equals to 0. Now from this we will get VA plus 4 times VB is equals to 0 and from there we will get VB is equals to minus of VA by 4 is equals to 0 0.75 meter per second in the downward direction. If you like the video then subscribe the channel and hit the like button and share this more to your friends. And if, if you want videos on different topic, please leave the topic in the comment box. Thank you.